video, we're going to look at what happens when a virus invades a host cell. You should already have an understanding of what viruses are. If you want an introduction to viruses, watch this video first. Viruses are very simple microorganisms that are only made up of a protein coat surrounding a strand of genetic material. The genetic material can either be DNA or RNA. Sometimes they also have an envelope, which is taken from the host cell's membrane. All viruses need to hijack a host cell to reproduce. The virus life cycle can go down one of two routes. The fast option, known as the lytic cycle, or it can take a slower option, known as the lysogenic cycle. In the lytic cycle, the impatient virus hijacks the cell's genetic machinery and starts making copies of the virus's genetic material. The cell then makes the virus protein coat, which self-assemble and lots of new viral particles are made. The infected cell keeps making more and more viral particles until it's ready to burst. The cell bursts open in a process called lysis and the viruses are released to infect other nearby cells. However, sometimes there aren't too many other host cells nearby. Viruses are specific for different types of host cell. In this case, the slower lysogenic cycle is preferable. The virus can't risk killing its host until there are other new hosts around. Instead of killing the host, the viral genetic information combines with the host's genetic information and becomes part of the host. The host doesn't really notice the change. The viral genetic information has repressor genes, which prevents it from being transcribed. It just sits there in a dormant state. The host cell carries on with its normal functions and keeps replicating without realizing that it is also including the viral genetic information in all of its daughter cells. The virus stays dormant until once in a while something happens that weakens the virus repressor gene. The host genetic material then realizes something is up and tries to repair itself. It cuts out the error, which is actually the virus. The virus is then released and starts replicating following the lytic cycle. The cell bursts and the virus spreads out to other host cells. So there we have lytic and lysogenic life cycles of viruses. The lysogenic cycle has a delay as the viral genetic information inserts into the host chromosome initially. The virus is quietly reproducing without killing its host. By following the lysogenic cycle, viruses are protected for long periods of time and can weather environmental change that otherwise could have destroyed them. The lytic cycle, however, has a much faster reproduction rate and a smaller window of opportunity for the host to defend itself from the virus. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.